How many of you remember hearing about latitude and longitude, but you right now really don't remember how to do it? Show of hands. Be honest. Okay. By the end of today, you will remember how to do latitude and longitude. Gesundheit. Latitude and longitude. But first, just a little bit about latitude and longitude. Latitude and longitude is nothing more than a grid that's put on the globe. Imaginary lines on the globe to help you locate something. Remember the first theme of geography? What was that called from yesterday? The first theme of geography? First theme of geography was location. And latitude and longitude could be used to find what kind of location. But remember, we're keeping our feet on the floor. It's used to find absolute location. You cannot go outside this room and look down at the ground and find lines of latitude and longitude. They're all up here in your head. But I bet everyone in here has played games using latitude and longitude. I bet you have. I am going to put up on the screen now that. Who can give me the name of the game that you have played which basically uses a simplified version of latitude and longitude? It might be a simplified version, but it's still like latitude and longitude. What would that be? Battleship. How many people here have ever played Battleship? Okay, that's what we are going to look at. Battleship. What do you normally say in Battleship? First, the letter or the number? Letter or the number normally? Letter. So, if I were to put a dot someplace here, like right here, I would first give the letter. The letter meaning how far up or down I have to go. Who can tell me what letter that dot is at? My first coordinate in my latitude and longitude. Yes. E. This is E. And I can even write E up here as my first coordinate. Now, I need to know how far left or right to go. That's my second number. Who can tell me what that would be? What would that one be? Yes. Four. So I could locate that dot by just saying E4. And if we were playing Battleship, I'd either say hit or miss. That is latitude and longitude. That's it. That's all there is to it in its basic form. The first number tells you how far up or down. The second tells you left or right. Let me put one up here. Let's see if you can figure out this coordinate. Who out there can give me the coordinate for that spot on the chart? What is that coordinate? Here's going to you. Yeah. How far up or down? F. How far left or right? 7. Ooh. Underhand back. Let's do one more. Just for good measure. Let's do... Who thinks they can do that one? I got a little tricky. I got a little tricky. Who thinks they can do this one? Both hands. Remember, we're still in battleship mode. It's still latitude and longitude. You might have to tweak it just a little bit in your brain, but I'm sure you can do this. D, 
four. We'll be right here. And following D across and four down. That's where D4 would be. Not quite at D4, am I? Want to toss it to somebody underhand that thinks that they can figure out the little trick here? Underhand, not fuck it at their face. This isn't take out the person that you want to answer. Ah, we're at C, but we're halfway between C and D. So we're at C and a half. We're between three and four, so we have to estimate that it's C and a half and three and a half. Who's got this? Who understands this? Who knows how to play a battleship? Okay, who thinks that they can locate any point that somebody tells them to mark up on the screen? Who's up for the challenge? Come up to the screen, you mark the points, and your classmates tell you where to put it. Because this is latitude and longitude, people. That's all it is. Who thinks they are the experts at battleship? Battleship experts. Some people aren't putting their hands up because I don't want to do that. I don't want to go up to the board. Come on, be brave. Go on up, Miss Shortly. Now, without tripping on everything, things happen. Oh, well. Pick whatever color you want to write on the board with. Who thinks that they can stump her with them? Let's see if we can stump her. Who wants to give her a location on that grid? Come on. One person? Okay. F, five and a half. Okay. Close enough because of the numbering there, because the numberings are a little strange between that five and that six, aren't they? Close enough because of the numbering at the top. Toss it to somebody else, even if they don't have their hand up. They're on the spot. Give her a number. Give her a set of coordinates. Come on. H, H. One for, she has it correct, two for she has it wrong. Raise your hand. One for correct, two for wrong. One for correct, two for wrong. Take a look at the hands that are out there. Got to put that back, yep. What was it again? H8. And that is the correct answer now. Good. How many people got this? How many people are like, this is way too easy? Good, because now you know how to do latitude and longitude. That's all it is. That is it. Now, let's move on to a different screen. And let's get rid of our marks here. Let's move on to the next screen and modify it just a little bit. Now, instead of being exactly like Battleship, now it is exactly like Latitude and Longitude. It is the exact same thing. The first thing you do is what? Up, down, or right, left? What is the first thing you do? Up, down, or right, left? Up and down. So if I put a mark on this right here, boom. Who can give me the first coordinate in my coordinate pair? What is going to be the first part? Yes, sir. Okay, we got four. But we're going to need a little more information than that because now we need to know whether or not we are going north 
or if we're going south. Okay, we are at four degrees north. That's our first number, up, down. Now we need our side to side. What is going to be our next number? Johan. Five degrees west. Good. Four degrees north, five degrees west. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Boom. There you go. Four degrees north, five degrees west. Let's see who can do another one. Who thinks they can do that one? Who thinks they can do that one? And where is the ball? Thank you for the ball. Give it to me. And five degrees south and nine degrees east. Number one for correct answer and number two for incorrect answer. Raise your hands with your responses, please. And when I ask you to raise your hand, this is not raising your hand. This is just bending your elbow. Raise your hand means that it's above your head. Okay, that is correct. Now, who thinks they can plot any number that's up there? Who can mark the dot as long as somebody gives them a coordinate to put up there? Ooh, I'm sure you can do it. I'm sure you can do it. I'm sure that all of you could do this. That's why I'm going to send this to you, sir. Come on up. I know it might take you a while to get up here. Ooh, I haven't seen you move that fast in a long time. That's double speed. Okay. Well, who wants to give him a coordinate pair? Who wants to give him latitude and longitude? Alex. Seven degrees south and what else? Seven degrees south, eight degrees west. Okay, seven degrees south, eight degrees west. Number one for correct, number two for incorrect. Take a look out there, and let me say it again. Seven degrees south, eight degrees west. Seven degrees south, seven degrees south. Oh, we're right there. So there has to be something with the eight degrees west. Eight degrees west. Hold on. Okay, go for it. Go for it. Seven degrees south. Eight degrees west. One correct, two incorrect. Yeah, a change. Okay, pass the ball to somebody else to give him another chance. He's going to nail this one on the first try now. I know he is. Whoever has the ball, toss it to somebody. Underhand. Okay, Ben, fortunate. Ten degrees north, nine degrees east. 10 degrees north, 9 degrees east. Show of hands, one correct, two incorrect. See, I knew you could do it the second time around. I knew it. It was going to happen. One more. Toss it to somebody. Underhand, remember? Boom. Give them a coordinate. Coordinate pair. Pair. 10 degrees south, 
six degrees west. 10 degrees south, six degrees west. 10 degrees south, six degrees west. One for correct, two for incorrect. Take a look out there. You got it. Sweet. You got it. Ball. One last person that wants a challenge. One last person that wants to come up here and give it a go. Come on up. I gotta make this a little tougher now. I mean, well, that's latitude and longitude. We just did it. Everybody in here, I can see, is catching on. Let's do this. One and a half degrees north, two and a half degrees east. One and a half degrees north, two and a half degrees east. One and a half degrees north, two and a half degrees east. One for correct, two for incorrect. One for correct, two for incorrect. Okay, remember hands go up above your head. That's participation here, people. Okay, one and a half degrees north, two and a half degrees east. Two and a half degrees east. What would you like me to do? Well, you can walk, you can walk this way. It won't hurt you. Yeah, you did one and a half degrees, but now you need two and a half degrees east. You have it at two degrees east. You need two and a half degrees east. Right here, here's the line. Here's the line, you can do it, you can do it. There you go, there you go. Yes, if you wanna give her a hand, that's fine. I said it was going to be the toughest one, and it was. But the thing is, you got the first number correct. The half point of the first number you got correct. Ladies and gentlemen, that is latitude and longitude. That is what it is. That's all it is. That's all it is. How many people now are like, okay, I really now remembered how to do latitude and longitude. How many people could do that? Come up and find out latitude and longitude. Yes, 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 all the hands, with the exception of one person that was yawning in the back. But that means I can move on because that's all latitude and longitude is, is battleship. That's it. Now, sometimes not all the lines on a map are labeled. Who can look at that map up there or that grid? What is each line worth? It's not totally filled out. Who can figure out what each line is worth? We only have certain ones that are labeled. We only have these that are labeled. What is each line worth? Yes, sir. Five so that it would look something like that. We could fill them all in, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. We could fill them all in because we saw the small amount of lines that were numbered. Now, let's take a look at the globe. And I have a sheet for you because some of this is going to be new information for you, notes kind of information, and I'm gonna pass out a sheet with a globe on it that you can actually write on and fill out and keep in your folder to have as your notes. So when you get this, turn to the side with the globe on it, and at the top of that side it says, use this side to write down things you would like to remember. Because that's the point of this sheet. Write down things that you think that you're not going to remember without writing them down. That's what the notes are for. Boom. So everybody should be looking at this side with the globe. 
just like the globe that's up on the screen right now. Now, here's something that you might not know, and you might have a hard time remembering it, so you might want to write it down. Lines of latitude. Lines of latitude. And let me change the color here. Lines of latitude run horizontally, just like the horizon. Lines of latitude run horizontally. I'm highlighting them now on the map. You don't have to highlight them necessarily on your sheet, but lines of latitude run horizontally. Latitude fatitude is what one teacher used to say because it shows you how fat the earth is. The lines go horizontally. Latitude fatitude. Lines go horizontally. Here comes the trick question. It's not really a trick question, but it can be difficult. Lines of latitude tell you what? How far north or south? Or how far east or west? What do they tell you? Lines of latitude. Do they tell you north-south? Or do they tell you east-west? North-south? Or east-west? Claire? You would think so, wouldn't you? Because they run east-west. But look at this. Here's the middle. If I go up here to the next line, did I go east-west or did I go north-south? Ah, I just went north-south by moving from one line to another. Lines of latitude, they run horizontally, but they tell you, they tell you north west. They tell you whether or not it's north or south. It's the up-down line. They go across, but they tell you how far up and how far down you go. So lines of latitude run horizontally, but they tell you north-south. How are we going to label the red numbers? What letter is missing after the red numbers on this globe? If you know that lines of latitude run horizontally and they tell you north-south. We have these lines. We have these lines still. What letter is missing next to the red degrees? Think about it. What letters are missing on the red degrees if these lines are telling you north-south? Yes. North. That's right. 15 degrees north, 30 degrees north, 45 degrees north, 60 degrees north, 75 degrees north, and 90 degrees north. What's missing from the blue then? Raise your hand. What is missing from the blue? Uh, Gunner. South. 15 degrees south. South, 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 south. Ooh, 90 degrees south has a special name. Anybody know what the name of 90 degrees south is? 90 degrees south. It's the opposite of where Santa lives. 90 degrees south. The opposite of where Santa lives. Yes, sir. It is the South Pole. 90 degrees south is the South Pole. What about 90 degrees north then? If 90 degrees south is the south pole, what about 90 degrees north, Andrew? It is the north pole, that's right. It is the north pole. So, lines of latitude run which way? 
horizontally. And they tell you what on the count of three? They tell you what? One, two, three. North or south? That was sort of a wimpy north or south from you guys, by the way. Maybe on the next one you'll be a little louder. Let's look at the next slide. And you will see that lines of longitude run vertically. Lines of longitude run vertically. Lines of longitude run vertically. So these are your lines of longitude. They run vertically. And one way to remember is that lines of longitude are long. They go from the North Pole to the South Pole. They are all the same length. They are all long. They are all long. Longitude. Here comes the, the tough question. Lines of longitude are vertical. What do they tell you? Lines of longitude are vertical. What do they tell you? Do they tell you north-south or do they tell you east-west? North-south or east-west? Yes. They tell you exactly that. East or west. Lines of longitude tell you east-west. So far so good? So far, so good. How many people remember talking about this in elementary school? So this is sort of like a review of stuff you've already had. Good. So if we were to label these, the red numbers would be what? Red numbers would be what? East, correct. 15 degrees east, 30 degrees east, 45 degrees east, 60 degrees east. All the way around the back side of the globe to 180 degrees east. What about the blue ones? What about the blue ones? Blue ones, yes sir. West, 15 degrees west. This one tight, by the way, for the sneeze. 30 degrees west, 45, 60, all the way around to the back side to 180 degrees west. They all say either east or west of this center line which means we should know what that center line is called. Which brings me to the next slide. Zero degrees latitude and zero degrees longitude. Let's do longitude since we were right there. Zero degrees, oh, zero degrees longitude. Has a name. Anybody remember the name from elementary school? What's the name for zero degrees longitude? I'll give you a hint. It's two words. First word starts with a P. Second word starts with an M. And it is a prime meridian. Zero degrees longitude is called the prime meridian. How many people have remember hearing that at some point? Okay, it's in the back of your head someplace and I'm just pulling it back to the surface. Good. Prime meridian. Now, let's go here, change colors, let's go back to yellow. Zero degrees latitude. Zero degrees latitude has a special name. Give it to me. It is the equator. Good job. Yes. Oh. Boom. Equator. Zero degrees latitude is the equator. Zero degrees longitude is the prime meridian. Now, let's look at this area right here. Who can give me the two directions? that are up in that area. What two directions would be in that area? When you give me a coordinate pair, when you give me latitude and longitude, what are the two directions, north, south, east, west? What are the two that would be in this area right here? This area right here, yes sir. 
it would be north and west. Good. We're north of the equator, but we are west of the prime meridian. Good. What about this one down here where South Africa is? That one right there. Next short one. We are south of the equator and east of the prime meridian. Good. What about this one down here? We got Brazil, Amazon rainforest. Ow. Southwest. And what do we got up here where we got most of Europe, Russia, Belarus, things like that? On northeast. So when you take a look at a map, a flat map, and you can find the prime meridian and the equator, you should automatically know if it's up in this area that you're going to have north and you're going to have west coordinates. If it's down here, it's going to be south and east coordinates. Now, there's just one more thing that I need to show you. Now, no, don't flip your sheet over yet. We're still on that front side. I'm just using this map as an example. You have a map of the world. What is special about 180 degrees east and 180 degrees west? What is special about 180 degrees east and 180 degrees west? What's special about it? There is something special. Yes, sir. They are exactly the same thing because the world is round and it has a special name. 180 degrees east, 180 degrees west, they have a name. It's a three word name and it is called, yes, indeed, that is the International, the international Dateline. The International Dateline is 180 degrees east, 180 degrees west. The International Dateline does change technically if you look on a map, but for our sake, 180 degrees east and west is the exact opposite line from the prime meridian. How many people here are feeling more confident about latitude and longitude? Good. So if I gave you a coordinate on a map, you would be able to locate it, right? Please flip over your sheets. Because there you have a set of directions asking you to label things or draw things on that map. Please take the time right now to go through numbers 1 through 9. Please take the time right now and do numbers one through nine. If you have questions, raise your hand and I can try to help you. Remember, the first numbers are always up down. The second ones are always right left. If you want to draw in the international date line, if you want to draw in the prime meridian or the equator, you can. Whatever will help you, do it. 